Hey guys, the Genshin community is among the most toxic of fandoms. I've talked about them before. So Tectone, I never personally got to talk to the guy. And apart from the clickbaity titles he does with his videos, I don't have any ill will against him, obviously. He seems like a pretty cool laid back dude. Nothing but respect for him, especially when it comes to speaking out about you know, the toxicity in the community. So nothing but respect for him. So he put out this video, Genshin community planned to end my life and get me banned. Now, the Genshin community, if you ship certain people together, this community, the toxic part, normally teenagers or very immature adults and normally leaning to one side usually the uh tolerant left um as you can check they'll have their fucking pronouns in their bio uh if you ship people that they don't agree with they will threaten to end you if you say that there is a post where um was it Ayato and uh, Miko? Someone said they should be together. They have a lot of similar features. Their clothing, uh, the very long sleeves. Uh, they said, "Oh yeah, it'd be a great, great pairing." But then the people come out, lesbian phobe. You're gonna fucking die. We're gonna end you. This and that. All because someone had the audacity to ship two characters together. M Miko's a lesbian. She's with the Raiden Shogun. You need to stop that, you fucking bigot. So, Tectone has been speaking about out against toxicity in the community. Apparently, at TikTok, uh, someone made a video stating that they wanted to end his life, cover him in lighter fluid, and uh, set him ablaze. Um... And, but then the person who made it was like, oh, that's, that's not what I meant by the video. Well, you pretty much said you want him to die. So uh, what did you mean by the video? Uh, it was, it's just a joke, bro. Uh, the comments, I'm sure were absolutely atrocious saying, oh yeah, let me help. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Oh, I want to do this. Probably talking about, uh, um, assaulting his cats in some kind of way or his wife you know typical fucking stupid shit but when you have a community that goes as far as to threaten someone's life because you don't like what they say what grow the fuck up grow the fuck up and it's, it's not just him. There's other uh, Genshin YouTubers, and some of them, <clears throat> I'm sure, are considering whether or not they want to continue to be Genshin YouTubers. The, the fan base is toxic. Very toxic. I mean, what was it with um, Protaglia's voice actor? Something happened, he was like in a... I can't remember, but the same thing. People were like, oh, it should have happened ages ago. Like, got hit by, what was it hit by? No, he got sick. He got sick or something, had to go to the hospital. No, 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 no. I remember what it was. He was, I think he like swung a bat or something and like passed out or something like that. Um, and he felt like a sharp pain or something. And he had to go to the hospital, but all the people were like, oh, it's about time. It's a shame he didn't die. Like, what? All because the dude uh, used some art that someone made for him. And it had like a, uh, like a black character in it. And people were like, oh, that's fucking racist. This dude deserves to die. It's like, what? Like I said, usually from that tolerant side, the one who preaches love and tolerance and has loves to have their uh, pronouns in their bios. Um, when you go as far as to threaten someone's life because you don't agree with them, you're the fucking problem. You're, you're what people see. 
you're like the boogeyman and the, the the ghost stories that people tell people are like oh genshin impact i heard it's a great game what's what's the community like um <laughs> well some people are uh, most people are good most what do you mean most uh let me take you to a magical place a place where people like them can be out in their natural habitat uh and just be who they are i'm taking you to twitter and then you show them all the threatening shit all the disgusting shit that these people will say just because someone had the audacity to fucking shit by Otto and Miko together or or uh <laughs> whoever else uh, i think uh ito and sara uh was another one that people were up in arms about it's like first off they're video game characters they aren't real second shipping should be for anyone if you want two characters to be together regardless of of sexual preference who cares it's a video game they don't unless it's directly stated to you so if you want them to be in a hetero uh, hetero relationship that's fine if you want to be in a lesbian gay relationship that's cool too but don't bash others for it don't threaten the lives of others um Uh, he said he's got a story that he's going to be saying, t uh, telling tomorrow, I think he said, about how all of this fucking started, uh, about how he got his, you know, his... So, regardless, like, uh, he's pretty infamous in a lot of uh, gotcha communities. Um, but, like, nothing deserves or warrants someone's life being threatened at all you can hate them you can just you know dislike what they say uh even if this even if tectone just say he was a complete huge fucking massive prick that still doesn't warrant death threats you know it's i don't i i know every fandom has its um toxic part but when I say, when I look at, say, a Zelda community, you really don't see many. I mean, if there are, they're ex extremely well hidden, and you don't really hear about them. Um, I know FNAF has quite a bit, uh, especially when it was, like, around um, that time where Scott was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm stepping back. People were like, good, you supported that evil Donald Trump, so you deserve everything you get. It's like, um... You're bashing him, the creator of the game that you're playing. Um, but the, I guess it's because I'm part of this community. I was never a part, really, of the, say, like I said, FNAF community. I, I watch the videos. I'm into the lore, but I'm not an active member. But I'm playing Genshin all the time. Um, you know, I'm making the you know making videos where people can hopefully interact with me, <laughs> um, but I'm part of that community, so it's more obvious when it happens. But if 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 you're a person and you're going through life and you think the first thing you should do when you disagree with someone is threaten their life, you need to take a step back, take a look at yourself, and think about is this the person you want to be. Because threatening someone's life because you don't agree with them. Just take that in. While I take in some good, natural, healthy H2O. <laughs> Two hydrogens, one oxygen. That delicious liquid that rains from above most of our, our bodies are mostly made of that keeps us alive remember drink your water even if it's not hot out plenty of water um 
but uh it, it's just saddening to see uh the game i mean obviously it's not mahoyo's fault you know it's like when people say oh well this person's community did this so therefore that person's responsible no that person even like i could say you know i don't condone this no one should be doing it but if someone does it it's like oh well it goes back to him it's like i flat out said i don't condone it don't fucking do it you can't control people you know you have some people who will say you know i respect this guy enough i'm not going to do this even though i really want to but then you're gonna have people say, "Well, he can't fucking tell me what to do. He's not my he's not my parent." So uh, this whole that whole uh, idea of uh, you know the the YouTube uh, channel that that person is responsible for. However, so Tex got a uh, seven hundred and ninety one. So say it's like, oh well, Tectone's community does this. Well, he's not responsible for 791,000 people. He's not. He makes it, he, he he's has a channel, he makes videos, he has opinions, and that's it. If his people want to go out and start trouble, that's on them. Or if you have another subscribe, uh, another YouTube channel, or uh, the Genshin, some Genshin community members who also do this, who are those toxic ones, and they send their people over, that's intentional, but if they're saying the same thing of like, hey, don't go harass him, I say the whole thing too. I'm like, don't go harass this person, don't just, just don't do it. Um, because that's a lot where these death threats come from is from one community sending another, uh, their, you know, sending their people, or it usually takes place on Twitter because Twitter itself is fucking toxic. It really is. Twitter is the worst of the worst. Um, and, uh, obviously I'll update this video once he kind of reveals what started all of this. Um, so I'm interested to know. Like I said, no ill will against him, apart from the clickbaity titles he has. You know, it's like, oh, I'm done. You know, he's got like a sad face on it, and then you realize it's something stupid. Or, you know, he's just looking at memes or something on uh, Reddit or some shit like that. It's just, apart from the clickbait titles, I don't have a problem with him. Um, no ill will, no harm. You know, I don't want no harm coming to him. I don't want harm coming to anyone who's just trying to speak their opinion. You know, no harm should be coming to anyone for speaking their opinion or just anyone in general. Um... I mean, today, especially now with the access to the internet and Twitter and YouTube and this and that, it's all the more easy to threaten people you don't agree with. And it seems to be more common now because people have been emboldened by it. You know, you have a certain side who delights in doxing others and, and getting people fired from their work and threatening the lives of others that, because they're not stopped. They're not being stopped. They just get emboldened. They feel courageous about it, like, oh, I'm just gonna keep doing it. And you have all these communities seeing it. And like, we're just gonna do the same thing. Oh, this dude says something you don't like, let's fucking threaten him. But it doesn't matter because nothing's gonna happen to us. So, you know, I, I, I kind of blame social media, but without social media, there would be no YouTube or any, you know, anything like that. But, <laughs> throw the fuck up. Just grow the fuck up. And I certainly hope that anyone watching my videos doesn't partake in any of this fucking bullshit. Because if you do, and you're subscribed, just fucking unsubscribe. Because I don't need any of that stupid, immature, childish, not even high school, but fucking elementary school mentality on my fucking channel. So if that's you, if you're someone who goes and harasses this dude or anyone just because they have a different opinion from you and you fucking watch this video, uh, you watch me and you subscribe, just unsubscribe. I don't care if we've talked before. I, if you do it, just unsubscribe. Because I'm not dealing with that bullshit. You have 
you get no fucking respect for me if you partake in the threatening of lives just because they disagree with you. So if that's you, just unsubscribe. Just do it now. Just, just fucking do it. Um, but that being said, grow the fuck up. You know, the Genshin, the Genshin community doesn't have to be nearly as toxic as it, uh, it is right now. But unfortunately, you've got a lot of bad actors there. Um, and when we say actors, we mean people within the community. Um, like I said, when, when, when you're threatening the life of someone for shipping, for a bad ship, you need to, and especially if you're, you're a fucking full-grown adult, if you're a full-grown adult and you're on Twitter raging, or the people who uh, threaten the lives uh, to uh, artists who will, like, draw Kaya, they'll draw Kaya. Some of them, you know, actually most of them are completely amazing. Uh, beautiful pictures of Kaya, because let's face it, the guy's a very handsome-looking dude. Um, but they'll start complaining about his skin complexion, that they made him too light. It's like, oh, you fucking racist. He's from Conria. He's supposed to have a darker skin, and you whitewashed him. Oh, you fucking racist. I hope you fucking die because of a picture. But then these are the same people who take someone like, I don't know, the Traveler or a, a white skin character. These are the same people who take these characters and make them black. But they'll sit there and complain. You made him like skin. I hope you fucking die. I hope you get COVID and die, you fucking racist bigot, and blah, blah, blah. All because of a fucking picture. All because of a fucking picture. If you're an adult and you're doing that, just stop playing the game. Just go to Twitter, whatever Genshin things you're following, just unfollow them. Like I said, if you watch me or you should, you're subscribed to me and you do that, just unsubscribe. I don't get paid enough by YouTube anyway, so subscribers and view counts and this, I really couldn't care less anymore because it takes me about five months to make $100. So if I get less subscribers, whatever. So if that's one of you, just, just go. I don't fucking care because I have no respect for people like that. If you want to act like a fucking petulant child, then go be a petulant child somewhere else. Anyway, that being said, Tectone seems like a cool dude. The fact that he's getting death threats and this and that, completely unfucking called for. The Genshin community needs to throw out those toxic, uh, toxic actors. Uh, we need to build a better Genshin community because... Like I said, it, it's turning off a lot of people from the game. Either people who have been playing it are like, oh, well, it's a great game, but the people, or you have people who are new to the game, are like, oh, yeah, how's the community and this and that? It's like, uh, oh, the community is like that? Uh, I, I don't know if I want to be a part of it. So, it's like I always say, and it still rings true, just be kind. It doesn't take any effort. It doesn't take any uh, a lot of strength to do it. Just be kind. People have differentiating, uh, different, you know, different opinions. We have different viewpoints. We have different lifestyles, different uh, ideas, uh, different beliefs, and that's perfectly fine. If we all thought the same, if we all thought uh, had the same ideas and the same just everything, the world would be a boring place. There would be no challenges. There would be no improvements. There would be no evolution. There would be no advancements. So having different opinions, no matter how bad they may seem sometimes, is a beautiful thing. And as long as they're not causing you physical harm or harming others or, uh, or causing harm to others in some kind of way, it's free speech. It's free thought. And if you don't have, if you don't like it, Go live in a fucking country where that kind of thing is, uh, you know, censored. I hear North Korea is beautiful this time of year. And if you don't want to go there, I hear China is great. So as long as someone's thoughts and ideas 
aren't call, call, uh, being called for a uh, direct threat to someone, people can say whatever they want, and especially in a video game. Just be kind. Just fucking be kind. That's it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. <laughs>